We are back with Farming Sim Suits to Boots, and I need your guys' help with our harvesters. So we're going to go check out our harvesters. I need your help, so stick around. Help me out. I need y'all's opinion badly. After the storm, I'll show you what the tornado did, what we, what we fixed, where we're at. If you missed the tornado video, I'll put it in the description. Go check it out after this. I thought it was a good video. I enjoyed it. Well, I didn't enjoy it, actually. It destroyed, it destroyed some of our stuff. But you can go check that out for yourself. Cotton is ready to harvest, so we'll get to that today. We have two cotton harvesters. We're pretty much broke. That's part of the reason I need your help. We're sitting here in the Chevy. Let's go check that out, actually. Let's just start off with why I need your help. We'll go over there and check it out. And I need y'all's opinion. You can let me know what you think. We're also going to go camping today. So, here's the plan. Gonna work. I want to plant these fields. I want to start harvesting some cotton. Then we'll probably hire some people. And then we're going to go camping for a little bit. Kind of get out, clear our minds. Get out into adventure a little bit. So, as I mentioned earlier, I need your help. And here's why. So, we bought two cotton harvesters. We're now broke. These are now breaking down. We've used them a lot. I don't have enough money to trade in both for new ones. So, I'm only going to trade in one for an upgrade. So do you want to get rid of the John Deere or do y'all want to get rid of the case? Second part to that question is what should I buy? Do you want to try a new Holland harvester? Or if I get rid of the John Deere, should we get another case harvester? So which one do you want to get it rid of? That's question one. And two, which harvester should I get next? Because we've got to have two harvesters for this farm. It's too big to only have one. So I want two. Let me know what you think. Um, so we're not going to get no harvesting today on these. Just the cotton. And we need to plant these fields. We've harvested a lot with those. They're starting to break down. It's time to sell them before they get even worse. But let's run this truck over here. I want to hop on the John Deere. It already has the planter hooked up to the back of it. And I want to get started on these fields. Get them going. And then I'm going to show you our cotton operation. We've got a lot of stuff over there. That farm's actually looking really, really good. I like the way it looks over there. I'm going to do double soybeans on here. Um, we could use them for some animals. And some people in town are in need of soybeans, so that'll be perfect timing. Whenever these are ready to harvest, they'll be in need of them, so that's perfect. Maybe we'll make a little extra money doing that too, which is needed. So we're going to have him plant the soybeans. We'll have him do this. We're going to go check out the cotton operation. Like I said, we're going to go up north, and we're going to go camping for a little bit as well. Probably load up our John Deere Gator, all that stuff. So he's doing that. Let's go check out the cotton farm. Here we are. It is ready to rock. We got the spray rig under the barn here. We got the awesome ARX just sitting here. We had it on the planter. We left it out. We probably shouldn't have done that. But look at this. Look what's in here. We got the big boys in here. Two. Oh, well, one of them's brand new. The other one's used. But two brand new to us. Case. Cotton. Harvesters. Never been used before by us. Ready to rock. We also have the trailer for these at the shop. We have to go pick up. Our 18-wheeler truck is already attached to it, so we just got to go grab those. Um, let's get started. It's going to take a while, but that's why we got two harvesters. I want to be knocking out as much cotton as we can to build our wealth back up. We've invested a lot of money into our farms, and we're, see we're seeing some money back. It's never enough, so we'll have him run that one. Let's grab the other one. We'll run that one for a second, get it started. Then I want to go to the shop, grab the uh, trailer, and bring it over here. It holds two bells, so that's good. Maybe we'll have enough time to go sell some and see how much we make. Because I'm interested how much two bales will sell for. We'll take this one to the middle of the field to get him going. That way they don't clash. So the case seems to be moving a lot quicker than the John Deere that we used a few videos ago as well. That was a disaster. I love John Deere, but whew, that was bad. That was not a good cotton harvester. And the beauty of these as well is when you hire somebody... They'll dump the bell out themselves and just keep on going. So like when you do when you do hay and stuff like that, you have to actually manually do it yourself. Or that John Deere we had, we had to do it ourselves as well. This one does it automatically, which is a big, big plus for us on our farm. Because our farm is so big, we have so much going on. Let's run to the shop and grab the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're blocking traffic. We're blocking the parking spot. I get it. Sorry. Let's go. So like I said, this trailer holds two square cotton bales in the back right here all right there's our cotton farm there's a not a very sturdy bridge here but i trust it enough to get this across we've driven our tractors across so i think it's good enough hopefully should be better be but what does that say it says narrow bridge i thought it was gonna hit me with like a weight limit 
Okay. Should be okay. Yeah, this is some pretty sturdy beams. I think we're okay. I'm not too scared to go across that. Okay, so he's already on the way back. It's pretty quick. How full is he? What does it seem like in there? Keep going. You're doing great. We're just investigating. Okay, so he still has a lot more to do as well. So it's going to take a little bit to produce a bell. Let's go load up our camping stuff. We'll come back, check out the cotton farm, and then we'll go camping. How about that? All right, he's doing pretty good. He's almost finished with that field. We'll get him swapped over when he's done. I like this truck. I missed the Dodge, uh, but I feel like this is a good consolation prize. I like this truck. Let's lower the tailgate. Let's hook up to this gooseneck. Okay, there we are. Let's raise our tailgate so we don't break it when we turn. Lower the back, because I want to load up the John Deere gator on here. I want to take it to the camping trip with us. You never know when you're going to need one of these guys. They're handy, so we'll load him up. I wish we had something else we could load on here. I don't want to take a tractor. There's no reason to take a tractor, and that's kind of all we own. We've only been working. We've had no fun. We need to go buy some more toys, but this is enough for now, even though this is kind of a work toy. Okay, well, the straps don't let me strap it down, so wild, wild west. Here we come. I need to show you all what we did. To the barn that got destroyed by the storm so let's go check that out as you can already tell a brand new barn insurance covered it we recovered all the tractors the 4440 had some damage to the rear fender we replaced that the 4020 was wrapped up against the tree it actually wasn't too bad just a little dinks uh we had to buy a brand new hay cutter it was ruined brand new barn obviously as well luckily insurance paid for that we need to fix our road. You can still see where the storm came through right over our barn that used to be right there. That was a bad deal. Luckily, we had insurance. They helped us with most of it. That also is another reason why we're kind of broke. So we're struggling over here. We are struggling. Let's go check out the cotton operation, see how it's doing. And then we'll come back. We'll take this rig camping. This guy is only 25% full. And look how much he's already done. So he's going to have to do four times what he's already done to make a bell. So we might only get two bells out of this whole field, which is actually kind of disappointing. Um, hopefully they make us a lot of money, though. I was not expecting that. All right. Well, let's go camping. Then maybe we'll come back after the next day. See what we got. All right. There's a place up north that someone recommended for us. He said it's got a nice campsite there. It's supposed to be a little lodge out in the woods you got to go clear your mind get away from farming for a little bit so that's the plan we've been farming so so much need a little teeny tiny break so we'll get up there we'll barbecue oh gosh okay when it gets bad it just gets worse all right you're not even gonna stop to help no okay let's see how strong we are can we flip the gator back over Luckily, it's got a roll bar. Push! Come on, farmer. Come on. Farmer strong. Okay. Even our light bar is good. Okay. I figured the light bar would have broke, but it seems like it's still all right. Let's load it back up. Am I missing something? Like, it doesn't let me strap... It doesn't let me strap it down, so I, there's nothing I can do. For some reason, my guy doesn't know how to strap down a vehicle. We're almost here. It's up into the mountains up here in the trees. We got some steaks with us. I cannot wait to barbecue. See what the camp has to offer for us. Usually our camping adventures means there's mud. We haven't had no rain since the storm, so there should be no mud. I think he said take a right? Okay, we're already lost. This isn't good. Oh, I think I see it up here. Okay, good. I guess I could have gone either way. Choose your own adventure. All right. No hot tub. I was kind of hoping for a hot tub. Lower the back. So we got a basketball goal with no basketball okay well, that's not a good start we got some chairs so there's our barbecue pit it has no propane in it uh, all right we got a tra trash can they haven't put the trash in it yet i see I might as well just take the trash out. It smells like there's dirty diapers in here. Oh my gosh. A grinder, okay. You know what? That might be good at our farm, actually. A light, I guess, in case there's any bears. A pit, why, why is there a pit? 
a pitchfork here. A wheelbarrow? I'm not working. I came here to camp. What am I supposed to do with this? This is why I just stick to farming. What is this? Mushrooms? Ew. I spent $100 to come here. Look at this place. Broken windows. Barbecue pit was nothing. What kind of Airbnb was this? They didn't even take the trash out from last time. There's tools here? There's not even a basketball for the basketball goal. All right, back to farming. So we're still not even 50% full on these harvesters. So this is gonna take a very, very long time. Let us know which harvester, the John Deere or the Case, do you wanna trade? And what do you wanna trade it for? I'm gonna use y'all's opinion to buy our next tractor. We can only afford one. So if you, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. I would really appreciate it. It helps us a lot. And until next time, make sure you thumbs up, like, subscribe, watch more of our videos. Bye.